as the wife of our future monarch, the Duchess of Cambridge was assumed to be Queen Bee of the Turnip Toffs who live near Ranmer Hall, the country home she shares with Prince William and their children in Sandringham, Norfolk. Friends claim there is, however, a rival to her rural crown, she is Rose, the ex-model married to their neighbor, the Marquess of Colmondeley. On the face of it, it's bizarre, but Kate seems to see Rose as a rival, claims one of their aristocratic said in East Anglia. The reasons for the alleged competition remain unclear, but there is no doubt the two couples have become close friends since the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were given Anne Hall by the Queen as a wedding present. Rose Hanbury, who turned 35 yesterday, married the filmmaking Marquis, David Rock Savage, in 2009. He is 23 years her senior and friends had almost given up hope that he would ever marry. Rose soon produced an heir in spare, in the form of twins Alexander and Oliver. Like Kate, she has since given birth to a third child, Iris. While Kate and William stay at 10-bedroom Anmer, which was previously rented out to a kitchen timber boss, the Marquis and Marchioness of Colmondeley live in splendor two miles away at Houghton Hall, one of the country's finest Palladian houses, surrounded by 1,000 acres of parkland. Should Rose need any advice on handling tensions, she has only to ask her husband. As Lord Great Chamberlain, David became an expert in treading hazardous paths while walking backwards in front of the Queen at the state opening of Parliament. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been making several public appearances this week, but on Wednesday the couple shied away from the cameras as they undertook a private engagement at home. William and Kate held a trustees meeting at Kensington Palace in their roles as patrons of the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It's not known exactly what was on the agenda but it's likely William and Kate will have discussed ongoing and upcoming projects related to their foundation. The Duke has a particular interest in men's mental health, homelessness, the illegal wildlife trade and sports, while Kate has always been passionate about children's mental health, the arts, sport, and the outdoors. It's been a busy start to the week for Kate, who has stepped out for three very different engagements. On Monday, the Duchess joined other members of the royal family at a service to commemorate Commonwealth Day. Kate looked radiant in red, recycling a coat she once wore during her royal tour of Canada. On Tuesday, the mother of three bonded with some adorable babies and toddlers at the Henry Fawcett Children's Centre. She learned more about the work being done by local organizations in Lambeth to support young children and their families. Kate, who looked ultra-chic in a purple Gucci blouse and white-legged trousers, swapped anecdotes with fellow mums, telling one mother who has a son similar in age to Prince Louis. Lewis just wants to pull himself up all the time. He has got these little walkers and is bombing around in them. Later that evening, the Duchess visited the National Portrait Gallery in her role as patron. Kate mingled with the likes of Princess Beatrice, David, and Victoria Beckham, Kate Moss and Liam Payne at the star-studded charity night, and looked stunning in a black Alexander McQueen dress that featured a floral print.